I thought I'd try J.L. Norton's Eugene uh, induction cooktop uh, experiment there. Can you get more energy out than you put in using a bifiller coil? Right now it's reading 0.35 amps just sitting here. Heck, what we will do. Get that out. They gave me a new pan with this thing. This came from Kmart. This is a short circuit more or less for the uh, coil underneath. Inside there's a coil about this big that sits in the center here. This metal top takes up the rest of it. It kind of spreads it out. This is the current, 120 volts. This is the current going in. Got it on medium low. This has six settings. Uh, this one here is set about 600 watts. I believe this is 600 watts right now. That's what it's set on. That's the lower, like the lowest. The low setting is just on, off, on, off. But these will vary the power, which I will show you. So this is just. It looks as this at this as a short circuit. If you don't have anything on, it'll flash at you. It has to detect a load. It's pulling 5.5 amps. Now this is a continuous 500 watts, 5 600 watts. If I put another one on there, five point five. Again, so that's the limit that it uses. This my body filler only draws. 5.2 amps. I had a smaller coil, half the size of this. It was the same size as this one here on the inside. In fact, I've had the top off of this. But all I could do, I could only, with the top on, okay, with the top off, and the smaller coil, if I set the small coil on top of their coil, I could gain access to each one of these, all six. With the top on and the small coil, I only have access to the one, the low and the medium low. With this large coil, I now have access to up to medium, but as you can see, it cannot quite put enough, th there's just not enough of a short circuit. If I unplug this heater here, well, that'd be good warm. With this large coil, I only I now have access to these two. I'm assuming if I made a larger coil or one without the insulation, I could get access to all of these. But anyway, as you notice, this is 5.34 amps going in. There's also about 50 to 75 watts, I'm guessing of heat coming out the back of this. This feels more, I'm guessing 400 watts, 
I'm guessing the heat off of the heater. This is a 43 ohm load. This shows the pattern. Oh. It's pretty much alive. Pause it. There's a slight field. Has a feel. You start it. Whole thing comes alive. This is running at 25 kilohertz. I can't measure the output voltage because, well, I did with a small coil on top. It came out to 140 volts with a high voltage component. With a large coil, I, when I tried checking it again, it was over 1500 volts. I'll have to try it and remeasure that again. So yeah. This point three amps at 25 kilohertz 20 kilohertz if I kick it up it's 1.69 1.7 amps 1.7 This one six point five two amps. So six point five and one point six. Yeah. I put a ferrite is 6.75 amps. One point seven amps. I think there's a limit. seems to be the upper limit. Probably no change. No. No change. So that it has its limits. To what, how much it will do, all the way up it'll go up to 11, 12 amps that's 8.7 high medium well that baby gets warm It will go up to a little less. After 
swiping at me. heat coming off the back. It's got a fan inside. And I get a little nervous standing above this because my head feels like something's pedal on there. If you get too near to this, if you stand above it, it might be just an illusion. <laughs> <laughs> 